Welcome to the I Ching Cafe. My name is Belinda Dobson. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you've got your cup of coffee or tea nearby to take just a few minutes out from your busy life to go and just connect with something that could really help you accelerate your potential, your growth for the month. We are back to our monthly overview. Yes, it's August 2019. And let us have a look at what this month is asking us to pay attention to. So if you've watched July 2019, you would have known that we were being challenged on issues of abundance. We were learning how to tap into the abundance opportunities around us, even though we felt hindered, even though we felt that we weren't being heard, that we just had to persevere and that we were being drawn through these big changes that were guiding us as we finished up last month with 54 marrying maiden, being drawn into situations that are much bigger than our own little cycle of fate. So let's have a look at this month. So our first hexagram for the month is hexagram 40, Deliverance. And yes, if you like me and you hear that little song, it's got nothing to do with that horrific movie, okay? <laughs> Opiate award-winning. Deliverance tells us that we reach a place of safety after a dark night. And the symbol that I want to share with you is you've been out at sea, you're in this ship and you're hit by this most horrific storm and things are flying and the waves wash across the deck. Like think about those typical movie scenes and you're shipwrecked and you're washed up on the beach and you're passed out on the sand, prostrate lying there like some seaweed. And you wake up the next morning and you can hear birds twittering and the light starts to come up and you realize you're safe and you realize you're on terra firma there's carnage all around you kegs of rum <laughs> you know barrels of whatever that are washed up bashed on the shore but you are safe you have landed in harbor and people come to help you they lift you up they get you some warm tea or coffee and they get you some food and they get you into dry clothing this is the idea of august that we have been on one hell of a ride over the last few months and that within August we find deliverance. We come out of challenge, darkness, trouble and we find a place of safety and things start to come right. So if you've been feeling like a ship tossed around at sea, you've been feeling shipwrecked and barreled and bashed by the waves as you've been tumbling towards shore, bloom, you've arrived, help is at hand and one of the things that we have to focus on in August is to allow the recovery process. So whenever we've been through a very difficult process and the psychologist will advise you if you've been through a trauma that you seek trauma counseling to help mitigate the kind of stress of the process. The same happens when you've been through a lot of difficulty or been through a lot of change or been through a huge growth spurt is that we just need a little space to recuperate and to find our balance and to find our space and to keep moving. So one of the things that we do have to do in August is acknowledge the journey we've been on, recognize that we need to recuperate, and as much as we need to keep moving, which we'll see in our changing line in a moment, it's also about not trying to push too far when you're still warming up by the fire and kind of thawing out from the experience that you've had. So take it easy keep moving, you're in safe harbor, and there's this wonderful process of arriving at a new phase where you can now move forward. We only have one changing line for August, and that gives us quite a calm kind of energy related to the month as opposed to previous months where we had three changing lines where almost every week there's something that's happening that's triggering, that's hammering us. Yeah, it's just one changing line. So this changing line is in the first position and matures round about the middle of the month. So you'll see it building up in energy, it matures round about the middle of the month, round about the 15th of August, and then starts ebbing away as the outcome hexagram for the month comes into play. This changing line, being in the first position, says very simply, you've come out of danger, the hindrance is past, deliverance is here, just get on with it. <laughs> so this is wonderful. This is saying that in August, there is this process of arriving, of realizing we've made it through a difficult process, going back and reflecting on what we've been through, 
and saying, okay, we've made it. It's okay. I'm okay. Everything's going to be okay. Let me keep moving forward. So this is not a month where we completely rest. I'm just saying don't push too fast when you're still thawing by the fire. What you need to do is you need to focus on moving forward and get going. Because the hindrance has gone, you can do it. As we round out the end of the month towards the energy that is evolving throughout the month, we have, very curiously, 54 Merry Maiden again. So, this is the second month in a row that our outcome hexagram is 54 Marrying Maiden. This is worth looking at. When we start to see patterns come through, things that keep on re-emphasizing, like we had the gardening and the weeding. We had it two months in a row. It was really coming at us. So too are we being asked to pay attention to this Marrying Maiden. So let's re-look at what that's all about. Marrying Maiden is a story from ancient China where in those times, the king would have multiple wives and concubines, obviously still prevalent in some parts of our society today, but in most cases not. And if you were the third or fourth wife brought into the hierarchy, you don't have a lot of power and you don't have a lot of choice around being drawn into this marriage. So what this symbolically represents is that there are big cycles of change that are drawing us to new phases of life and the change is beyond us. This is not our will forcing something to happen. There's no amount of affirmations you can throw at this. There are cycles of change that are drawing us forward. And this is asking us to focus on just allowing fate to care for us and guide us into the next best place we need to get to. Even if it feels like we're going backwards or we don't have power, we don't have authority, we've taken a few steps down, whatever this might mean for you, you've been drawn into a situation where big cycles of change are getting you into position so that you can be of greater service. So this is not a time where you make demands. You can imagine the fifth wife down starts having a temper tantrum because she hasn't got the rights that the first wife had. You're going to lose. You've got no say. And so it's this idea of being drawn into marriage symbolically, being drawn into commitments that you feel are beyond your control. Just stay with it. Act with good conduct. Don't be demanding and petulant. Just allow and trust the forces of change are guiding you, and your team, your business, your family to where you need to go. Well, that's an interesting month. August, we'll keep on tracking back with what August means to you. And I do encourage you to go along to Facebook, find us on at Ching Community and go and like the page and join our community, join the conversation around what these things mean to us. Great that we can share as a community as to how we can move forward, we can master change and develop clarity, agility, and of course, mastery. See you online and see you for the next weekly overview.